In just a few seconds, we're gonna flip through the Starman Tarot deck, and I'm gonna give you a chance to see what the imagery looks like and find out a little bit more about this deck, its history, and a little bit about its creator. and welcome to my channel. If you haven't met me yet, I'm Lisa. I'm a certified tarot consultant whose goal is to help you leverage the power of the tarot to gain insights into yourself and make your life amazing. And on this channel, I do lots of tarot related videos like this walkthrough. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button so that you can find my other videos and my other deck walkthroughs. Um, and see when new ones come out. So the purpose of this walkthrough is basically to uh, show off the Starman Tarot so that you have the ability to see a little bit about what this deck is all about, uh, find out a little bit about the artist and see some about the artwork. So I'm gonna tell you just a little bit of information while I'm flipping through the deck for you. I'm not gonna show you all of the cards in the deck, but I will show you enough to get a sense of the artist's style. And uh, the artist is David DeAngelis. He actually uh, worked with David Bowie. He's an artist who uh, worked with David Bowie on his um, album art, uh, Outside and Earthling, and uh, that was in the 1990s. So uh, David DeAngelis, and I'm just gonna start kind of going through this, but let me show you the backs first. And then let me start um, flipping through some of the cards here for you. So. DeAngelis actually, um, oddly enough, met David Bowie at his father's, um, at DeAngelis' restaurant. Uh, let me back that up. David DeAngelis, his father, owned a restaurant, and David Bowie uh, was working very near to that restaurant back in the 70s, walked in, and uh, actually sat down next to DeAngelis and had a conversation with him about some uh, art that he was doing at the time. He was just a child. Um, and DeAngelis remembers this and keeps this uh, memory, you know, kind of foremost in his head as he's moving forward. He was really excited about it. Of course, um, you know, later on he, you know, had a real respect for Bowie. And then in the 90s, he had a chance to work with him. So um, he started conceptualizing this tarot deck in 1995 while he was still working with Bowie, but things didn't really move ahead at that time. Um, he thought it was time for it to move ahead, but not, not. It, it just didn't. And then when uh, Bowie died in 2016, he heard of, of Bowie's death and started having, uh, over the next few nights, had some dreams. And in these dreams, which he um, actually says were not dreams, but were more visions, um, he said he was holding the completed Starman tarot deck in his hands. And he was fanning through them. He was looking at the imagery. And when he woke up, he uh, spoke with his wife, Esther, and uh, they decided to work together to bring the deck into reality. So even though he's done all the artwork, um, his wife and him together actually wrote the a book that goes with this. So she definitely had a hand to play. Um, DeAngelis states that many of the cards were actually really difficult to work with. Some of the energies were very difficult to work with. And he said sometimes it was hard to actually bring cards forward. But he did his best to make sure that the art um, ended up being what he was seeing in his vision. So he tried to take that vision and bring it forward into life. And this is very interesting. This is the tower card. Um, so one of the thing about the art, and, and let me just kind of pull this up real quick because I, f I feel like this kind of states it and I'm just going to read here off of the back. Um, but he said the deck weaves together in experimental t uh, typography, street art, eroticized sci-fi imagery, influence of philosophy, shamanism, cosmology, futuristic cosmologies, chaos theory, Caravaggio, destroyed imagery of punk, and sacred geometries. So it, when you read that, you're like, okay, this, <laughs> this deck, yes. Absolutely. Um, and so he really liked, DeAngelis likes the idea of exploring within a static image, this concept of the time stream being in that. So he likes things to be very complex so that as you're living your life and moving through it, you are, are getting more out of the images every time. And so this is why there's so much of that complexity in there. So it's um, very common for him to manipulate words and images by hand in my computer, changing the filters, changing the layers, 
and the directions until he ends up with something entirely different. So he said this was almost a really magical part of the process where you know you strip things away and then something that was seemingly hidden um, emerges from underneath, which is really neat. Um, and so my my opinions on this deck, um, I I selectively use this deck. I don't use this deck for everyday readings just because the imagery has so much in it. And I'm sure you're seeing that as I'm going through. And let me just give this as an example. Um, so here we have the four of wands and you look and you're like, okay, there's two people here, but you know, we've got some of the sacred geometry we have right here. We've got, um, what I believe are words that have been kind of changed and adapted and, and moved around. And then when we look at the actual people and dig into that, you see that even, um, you know, the faces have images upon images and then you go deeper and deeper and there's just more and more and more there. And look, there's even little mushrooms there. I've never even noticed that before. Uh, and is this face? I'm not sure. But this is the thing about this deck is there's just so much in here. So not a lot of tarot decks go this deep into the imagery. Um, some of them are very simplistic, but some of them are, are you know, very, um, very few of them are as complex as what I think you're going to see here. So I have discovered for myself that sometimes it's it can be a bit overwhelming, but um, I think this works really well with spreads where you're going to be um, looking at, say, month ahead or a year ahead. So like my tarot compass spreads that I offer, uh, which if you haven't checked those out, guys, you can see those on my um, on my business page. But those are basically a, a year ahead spread that combines tarot with some other things as well. Um, but you know those when you're working with one card's energy for an entire month, I think can be great because you end up moving forward with the card, going back to the card, reviewing the card um, over time. So you can meditate with it. These are excellent cards for meditation. Um, you know, th I think there's a lot to be done and a lot to explore with this particular deck. So if you are someone that loves modern and complex imagery, or if you just have a, a real love for David Bowie or David Angelis, um, and, and that work really speaks to you, and then this could be a really great deck to get a reading with and, uh, you know, have someone, um, you know, get give you a reading and then also get you the imagery that goes along with it, um, or even have some cards, like I said, to meditate with or work with. Um, but yeah, that is the um, what I have here for this deck, and th this is the Starman Tarot. So um, if you found this useful, guys, be sure to hit that like button. Um, if you like this type of video or just love tarot in general, I'd love for you to join the community. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell so you can see when the next one comes out. And if you're interested in uh, you know a, a year ahead reading or my tarot compass reading, um, head over to my, my site to see some of the different things I offer and hit me up there. But uh, thanks again for hanging out with me, guys, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.